Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about AI meeting note takers. There's a whole bunch out there, and rightly so. It is one of the most useful ways to use AI, and anyone who does online meetings saves so much time and effort using AI meeting note takers. I'm going to do a quick tutorial and a review of Fellow AI meeting note taker, which is what I've been using for the past couple of months. So let's dive into it. I'm going to go to fellow.app and I'm going to get started. So here I'm going to sign up with my email. So I'm just going to use my business email to sign up. And I can see here, like, you know, with I have two teammates already using this application. So it's kind of cool how you get to see if like your team is already using this or not. I'm kind of curious if it will pull up all the meeting data that's already there with the teams and the meetings I was part of. So I'm just going to join in here and uh, this onboarding here. So here I have an option to configure which emails do I want to let fellow to join. There's a dropped an option for, you know, if I want to let fellow to join all meetings, the meetings I organize or the ones I manually select. So depending on, you know, what kind of meetings you do, maybe if you do a lot of external meetings, you may want to not do it for all. If it's all internal, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can just let it do for all. And then the other option is to configure like email AI meeting notes too. So again, I have an option to control who gets to get the meeting notes after. Is it going to be only my teammates? Is it going to be all the fellow users or like no one or like everyone who was invited onto those emails? Again, completely depending on the preference, whatever works best for your team, your workflow, your business, we can choose one of those settings. And we're going to move on to the next screen here. Uh, it's asking me to just tell a bit about myself, like how I heard about Fellow, if I manage people here, if I want to receive product updates, uh, and then just agreeing to the terms and services and the privacy policy for them. So speaking of privacy, if you look at their website, they are SOC 2 and HIPAA compliant. So they are privacy focused. So to ensure that your data is not being used in any malicious way or being like sold or anything else. I like my privacy. The next option here is to install the Chrome extension. So I have it all installed so I'm gonna skip here I'll show you how that looks like when you're in a meeting and then the next option here is to download their desktop app so I'm gonna skip here all right so we're in fellow let's see how it works so my team and I would do a morning call every day just to check in and see how things are going and now every day I have fellow join the call and this is what it looks like so fellow would be a participant in the meeting so everybody knows that I'm using a meeting note taker and since I have the Chrome extension installed I have like this widget on the right side of a meeting which is kind of like my chat GPT, but for all my meetings. So here, if I scroll down here, like it's gonna show me kind of like the summary and the talking points that we discussed in all previous meetings for this recurring meeting. If I go to transcript, it's giving me live transcript of what's going on, like, you know, what was said earlier. If I wanted to check back on something that was discussed maybe 20 minutes ago, because maybe because I was scrolling Instagram and didn't pay attention and now I need to catch up. Or you can go to stats, which is kind of cool, because it tells you like how much speaking time different people had. So it's a good wake up call that if like one person is speaking a lot than the others, you probably want to use that as a signal to evaluate why that's the case. Are other people not important in the meeting? Maybe they shouldn't be invited or one person likes to talk a lot more and like, you know, the meeting should be more balanced with everyone talking equally and having the space to be able to speak up and share their thoughts. It's kind of like a nice little widget to, to kind of get a sense for that. I'm sure sales teams use it as well to see if like the client's talking more versus your sales strap or your BDR. So again, you know, different use cases for it. It's kind of cool to kind of see how that sort of goes. And then for once all the meetings are done, you know, you can go to the fellow app either in your browser or the desktop and you'll be able to sort of like see the dashboard of the meeting. You get the whole call, you get you can you can play back everything that happened in the meeting. There's like different timestamps based on like major activities or major topics that were brought up in the meeting. So it's a quick way to sort of like check, you know, if you just want to play back certain parts of the meeting or you know when something was discussed. So it's kind of easy to navigate and sort of like scrubbing through the whole video and trying to see when this was discussed. But of course, you know, you can use AI to do all that. We're going to talk about that in just a second. As we scroll here, we get to see like the key summary of the conversation we get to see the action items and the decisions that were taken during the call right here in the summary and for all recording meetings as you scroll down we get to see that for basically all the meetings so it's kind of handy to see like you know what was discussed last week versus today and like just any analysis you may want to do based on that one thing i really like about fellow which i don't think any other AI meeting note ticker tool does is that before every call i get a pre-meeting brief so you know like how many times uh, we would discuss something that we're going to touch base on this next week or you know we should follow up on this or we think about we need to like talk about this next week but we all forget so this is super handy before my calls i would just get a quick little brief telling me summary of the previous meeting so i can easily catch up and be reminded of everything we discussed last week or yesterday or a month ago and then all the items we said we're going to follow up in this meeting so instead of me trying to scramble and like look at my notes paper notes my emails and everything else i have like the summary packaged 
to me and deliver it in my inbox right before the meeting. So even before like two minutes before the call, I can just have a quick glance and I'll be all caught up right away. And likewise, like after the meeting as well, like I would get a quick summary of uh, what happened in the meeting the action items that were discussed and the decisions that were made. Basically everything we see kind of on the dashboard and this will be sent to whomever we want to send it to. Like, you know how we did the settings early on? If it's going to be the teammates, it's going to be everyone on the meeting or the people who are using the fellow app. So those are like super, super useful features that can save a lot of time and then always make sure that you're on top of things and have nothing slip through the cracks. Speaking of slipping through the cracks, one of the super powerful things is also their feature called Ask Fellow, which is what I mentioned as like chat GPT, but for all your meeting notes. Maybe you wanna know what was discussed like three weeks ago. Maybe you wanna know like, was there any action items that was assigned to you after a certain meeting or whatnot? You can just ask in the natural language to this chatbot, like, hey, whatever your question is, and it's gonna find that answer for you. Or another use case here is that, for example, in our tech planning meeting, we discuss some of the requirements that we wanna do for our new project. So usually what happens after the meeting is that you have tasks. Maybe you wanna take the meeting notes and you wanna turn that into a project spec requirement. Maybe it's for internal team, maybe you wanna turn that into a proposal for a client, uh, whatever that might be the case. You can just ask this AI, be like, hey, can you turn everything we discussed about this project into a project uh, requirement document? It's gonna go through the transcript and structure the data however you want. For example, I'm just gonna blur some of the parts here because it's a new project that we don't wanna reveal just yet. Basically, we're getting the overview, the user flow we discussed, the key requirements, the technical considerations, the timeline and the next steps that were discussed. And now I can put that in a Google Doc, I can put that into my presentation tool, whatever I need to do, I can just do that very quickly without me having to do this manually. And another thing to note here is that if you go to settings here, you have an options to integrate your like your meeting notes with your project management softwares. We have Asana, ClickUp, Trello, Monday, and Linear. So you can take all your action items and automatically add it to different projects or like your yourself as an assignee. So that way you can basically stay on top of things if that's how you like to operate. I wish there were more integrations here. For example, maybe like CRM tools like HubSpot or like Notion, but I'm sure they're working on it. One of the things that I find annoying is that every time like I'm on a different screen, for example, templates, and I wanna to navigate to my like dashboard or homepage, I don't really have an easy way here. Like if I click on home, it just kind of like hides or unhides the sidebar. And if I go to my organization, again, it doesn't really take me to home and I have to basically reset kind of like my URL every time. So that's one of the things that are annoying. Also the fact that I think on the homepage, I think it's a bit of a clutter. Again, these are like not the deal breakers for me. So I'm like, you know, I still like using Fellow a lot, but yeah, I mean, if I wanna be critical, I think these are like a couple of things that I would say they can probably do better. But I mean, yeah, that's kind of like the overview of uh, this tool and my review. I think I've been using this for a couple of months now. I think I'm gonna stick with it. It's super useful. I've been saving a lot of time. I think I'm feeling a lot more productive because now I'm like a lot more on top of things. I don't have to scribble things manually and keep track of things. I just use Ask Fellow a lot just to kind of figure out where I'm at, things that I should be paying attention to and whatnot. All my meetings are always summarized. I have pre-meeting prep notes. So I'm like always caught up. If you think this is useful for you, that's great. If you don't think it's useful for you, I would say give it a week. Just give it a week and see what difference it could make and then maybe have an opinion. Anyway, this was a quick tutorial and my review. I hope this was useful. And if it was and you learned something new, give a thumbs up. And again, for more AI content, how to integrate that into your workflow, save more time, build a business with more AI and less teammates, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.